Hi, welcome back. Now I'm going to show you how to put these eyes in. What you have is a half a circle. So it looks like it's under the brow. And I did the same thing with the other. So all you do is take your knife. You're going to put a stop cut. So you're going to follow this. I'm going to see if I can get this in the camera for you. You're going to follow this all the way around. Half circle like this. I'll do that side. I'll flip over and I'll do the other side. Okay, so I'm going to undercut it first. Like a little V cut all the way around. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to take that edge off. Just like that. I'm very, um, my ultimate goal as a carver is to do a full size eagle in flight. Just like you saw behind me um, on my video of Arlene the Wood Carver. If you haven't seen that, that's just me talking. And I have this huge uh, eagle behind me. That's only a half size eagle. My goal is to do a full size eagle someday in flight. I think they have a wingspan of about seven feet. And I have a feeling I'm going to be that doing that sooner than I think. I've been thinking of that for a number of years and um, getting enough lumber and just getting the uh, getting the mood to do it and uh, just to finally get the motivation to do it and finish it. I think it would take me about a year to finish it the way I would like it with all the feathering and the wood burning and all that. I'm doing the other eye as well right now. And um, let's take a little bit off the bottom there yet. Okay. So there we go. There's our eye. There's our bill. And we're going to work on that bill a little bit. We're going to just take a little corner off. See how I'm doing that? So it looks like it's going in a little bit. Okay, just like that. We're going to clean this up a little bit because this bill looks a little ch little chunky to me. Yeah, and um, just kind of round that up. We want it to come to a point in the front a little bit. Just like that. Okay, so that's how we have our eagle, that portion done. Now, to put these little white lines in. Okay, there's a little bit of a hump here. I got almost to that over here. And what you want to do is just kind of make a couple of V's here, one longer than another. And just go all the way around. Okay, I'm just going to do this half and you can do the other half while you're offline. Just to save me some time on the video. And so what you want to do, once you go all the way around, you want to draw that on there. And then you want to put, do a lot of stop cuts. You want to make it a little deeper on the top. Okay? And make sure you get those connected. It's very important. Because when you go to cut them out, you want to make sure that they chip out the right way. And you just want to make all those, those corners, all those edges meet. All right? Alright, it's going to be a little tough around the corner. I'll do the one in the back here to show you. Like that. And like that. And what you're going to do is you're going to just take your knife and you're going to just slide it right up there. Just like that. See? You're going to take the side edge and just get that corner out as most important as that one corner in the top. You can go back and sliver those little corners off. But you want to make it look like it's laying on top of the wood. Alright, see? If you do them deep enough, you're not going to chip anything out. It will come out on its own. See? 
So that's how we do our feathering. And then I turn the knife the other way and I kind of sliver that other side out a little bit. So it's almost deep, you go back over it again, you dig it, you do your stop cuts again and do it over again. Alright, and then when we come back, uh, after you get this whole thing done on this side and the other side, what I want you to do is I want you to go back and I want you to sand everything. And it's okay to go over the eyes a little bit when you sand. Because when you use this block, you're just going to use it and go over it lightly on this portion here. You can go sideways if you want. Alright. And you can go over that eye a little bit and round it up a little bit. That's the nice thing about that tip of that thing. You can do that and then do the bill. Alright. And then do the bottom. So when you come back, you're going to have it all sanded up. The only thing I want to share with you real quick is this is a little hard to sand that down below here. You may want to take a little piece of um, a single sandpaper to get in there or just do it as good and as flat with your knife as you can. Okay, but the rest should be pretty good. Now if you nick some of those things off, you can go a little deeper here, okay? Here and here to make those a little deeper. And then go underneath everywhere and just sand it up you know, and get it nice and rounded. <clears throat> and then when we come back, we'll paint this puppy. And, uh, I mean this eagle, I call everything a puppy. <laughs> I got that from my sister a long time ago. So let's just get it all ready to go and, um, you know, take your time sanding it. Use this uh, block if you don't have one. You can, they're a dollar at the dollar store. They're not bad. Or you can buy these, these long, emery boards that are flexible they're good too you know to get in between things but this is a little more more spongier which is nice to do to go over those eyes a little bit to make them round okay and when we come back we'll paint we'll paint them up what you the paint you'll need is you'll need brown you'll need white you'll need black and you'll need yellow and you'll need two types of brushes you'll need a very very thin brush and you'll need one of the flat brushes okay so we'll be back, and uh, that will probably be our last segment is painting. Okay, and that may not be until tomorrow night. So, okay, and then we'll start our songbirds on Monday. Take care. Bye bye.